Don't it, good people? This is the eight better animal. Okay, so today's game is actually two games. Um, I was going to talk about one of these games, but because I have the dual game pack, I might as well talk about both. Um, these titles both released in 1990, and they were this particular game pack was the pack-in title for the Nintendo Sports Pack. Or the Nintendo Sports Set, I'm sorry. Which was designed for four-player sports games. It came with the NES Satellite, four controllers, the control deck, all that all that good stuff. Um, and both titles were also developed by Technos Japan. The makers of such classic titles as Double Dragon um, and Super Dodgeball. Today's game is, today's games are, I should say, Super Spike V-Ball and Nintendo World Cup. Okay, so first I'll talk about Super Spike V-Ball since it was, you know, first, on, first billing on the cart. Super Spike V-Ball is actually a home port of a, of a Techno Japan developed arcade title by the name of US Championship V-Ball. Now US Championship V-Ball and Super Spike V-Ball share some differences. Well they have some differences. Um, for one, you only have the one team to play as in US Championship V-Ball whereas in Super Spike you can select a number of different teams. In US Championship V-Ball, there's only the US tournament where you play in different locations around the country. Super Spike V-Ball, you have the op you have three different play options. You have a practice mode where you play against one particular team in an empty in an empty arena. You have the US Championship, which like the championship on US Championship V-Ball takes place in different locales around the country. And you have the World the World Tournament, which takes place in different locations against different teams from around the country. Now, another interesting thing about those opponents, um, one of the teams is actually another US team. It's um, a team from the U.S. Navy, an obvious homage to the movie Top Gun. Um, there's the Russian team, which is the final boss, which seems to be a running theme in Technos Japan developed sports games. And there is, there are a number of different teams when you select through your teams to play as. Those different teams have different attributes. You have the all-around team. You have a team that's strong but with but slow. A team with good defense but they can't spike for anything in the world. And a team that is fast but their striking power is low. I believe that's what, no. They don't have defense. I'm sorry. Um, Super Spike V Ball is a lot of fun. Single player, two players. Or in four-player versus mode, um, it's a definite, definite. It's actually an upgrade from the home, from the arcade version, which I've played a number of times, and it's a solid game. Um, next, we have Nintendo World Cup. Now, Nintendo World Cup is actually it wasn't an arcade title, if I remember correctly, but it was a Famicom title, and it was. Another in a series of titles from Technos Japan set in the same universe, the universe inhabited by um, where River City Ransom takes place, where Crash and the Boy Street Challenge takes place, um, Super Dodgeball, where all these different titles takes place. Nintendo World Cup takes place also. Now, there are obvious similarities because of this with uh, with Super Dodgeball being that there are only six players per team like Super Dodgeball 
if a pl- unlike Super Dodgeball though, in this title, if a player gets knocked out, he's only out he's only out for the rest of that half. He's not out for the entire game. There are super shots in this game, just like there are super throws and super dodgeball. Um, and there are, and play fields actually play a big role in the way you play against opponents. Whereas you will, in Cameroon, for example, you'll move a little bit slower. Um, there's a team that plays on a slick surface. They're different, different teams, different environments. Um, another notable thing for fans of Super Dodgeball, the Japanese team, um, they are essentially characters from River City Ransom that actually popped up in Super Dodgeball and they are popping up here as well. Uh, just a little bit of a homage to River City Ransom, the mo- arguably the most popular title in that series. Um... Nintendo World Cup is another awesome sports title. Uh, you can't go wrong picking up the double cart, pa- the double, double game. game pack for these titles. Um, and it'll come incredibly cheap. Both of these titles are really plentiful out in the wild. So you should definitely pick up both titles. Um, I recommend getting, if you can get them individually, do that. But if you, you know, if you want to pick them up in this double game pack, do that also. You won't spend more than ten dollars for both titles, and you'll spend about five to seven bucks on the double pack. This has been Eight Bit Animal. And I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow.